Hello, and welcome to Be Movie Euphoria. I'm Nick. I'm Alex. And this is James. This is James, his very first time on Be Movie Euphoria. He is a huge part of Be Movie Euphoria, but this is his first time on a video for Be Movie Euphoria. And he brought um, a thing. Anyway, so, <laughs> so today we are talking about... Uh, we're not going to review a movie, movie, sadly, but uh, we are talking about something very, very important, and that is the death of family video. one we had. That was the last chain. The last chain, yeah. And so, recently, uh, there was a press release by the owner of Family Video saying, we are, due to COVID-19, or just due to people not giving a shit in general, we are closing all of our stores in North America by the end of February. Everything will be on sale. Come in and get whatever you want. So, that's exactly what the three of us did. And so we're basically, for this video, we're going to show off all the crap that we got, and then I'm gonna task you guys to give me at least, you don't have to give me five, but give me like a few video store memories. Not only did we get a bunch of movies, we also got some signage. Uh, this is the first one that I got prequels and sequels. So, not sure what anyone could use out of this, but... I'm going to start your own prequels and sequels section. If you really yes! Want. And I'm sure there's some prequels and sequels in there. Yeah. So, that one's really good. This one... That one's on my shirt. This is... That's not that. That's right. not that mania. That's not that mania, but... Oh, really? Yeah, it's with Oliver Reed, but... Yeah, that's Oliver Reed. <laughs> anyway, yeah, yeah. so... No one uh, talks about that one. Then Halloween movies, which I loved, and I had to convince Alex to get one of these, which is insane because... Okay, number one, it says Halloween movies on it. There are spiders and shit. Uh, it's clearly a family video thing, even though it doesn't say family video on it. And Frederick R. Krugens, Kruger is on... The cover, yes, it's a silhouette, but it's clearly... It doesn't even take place during Halloween. <laughs> it's not even a Halloween movie, in, like, any respect. In, in every respect, it's a Halloween movie. Anyway, I got two of them, so there's two of them. And, uh... Oh, and this is something I did not expect to find, but they had a bunch of googly eyeballs uh, light up lights. So that's really sweet. This was $2 for that. And they work! Anyway, so that's that's it for non-movie things. Let's get into the movies themselves, because they're selling them for super cheap. The first time I went to Family Video was the one on Eastern, and I got a couple there and a couple of those signs. But the first movie I saw, and I still have not watched this, I've seen clips from it, but I've never watched it all the way through, it's Tim Curry, Diana Rigg, and Feruza Balk in The Worst Witch. Which, there, so there are a lot of, like, YouTube and, like, clips of just Tim Curry singing behind, like, a... Uh, he's like in front of a green screen. <laughs> yeah, a chroma green. have probably seen it. It's, it's wonderfully 80s, yes. early 90s. And he's just singing like this. 
And I wouldn't change places. I wouldn't with anyone tonight. Not tonight. But I'm really excited to see this. Uh, it looks really cheesy and really bad. And I love Fruza Bulk. And I love Diana Rigg, who just died. Didn't she? I think. She was one of the Avengers, right? Yep. Or am I getting that wrong? Anyway, she's, so. de she's dead. Um, Sad. <laughs> A good find. Yes, and then uh, M. Night Shyamalan's The Visit, <laughs> which I have never seen, but both of these guys have said it's very good. I didn't say it was good. Oh, no, you didn't say it was good. I said it was good. <laughs> did There's you? A stinky diaper gag. It. In oh, it. so Alex hasn't seen it. <laughs> yeah. What did you say about it? There's a stinky diaper gag. Oh. And it's good. It's it's pretty good. <laughs> stinky diaper Uh, then Invisible Mom, which... The Invisible Cover, because it was sitting in the sun, <laughs> yes. probably. This is, so this is on my list of my favorite things about the video store, are the sun-bleached covers that you get, when because they've been sitting on the shelf for so long that the sun has basically sucked all the other colors except for blue out of this cover. But this one looks really good. It's about an Invisible Mom. It's got D. Wallace... It, just D. Wallace now, her husband died. We had a very... Um, were you with me when we talked to D. Wallace Stone at Cinema Wasteland? Or, I don't know. Basically, I told her my favorite movie was The Frighteners that she was in. She was like, well, yeah, that was the movie where my husband died. I don't know like, that, yeah. And then with uh, Little Ghost, just it's just Little Ghost. Yeah, watch Little Ghost and Horse Witch. <laughs> yeah, Little Ghost! <laughs> That's going to be a family entertainment uh, double feature. Uh, it looks good. Uh, that's that's all I know about it. So, uh, the next movie we have, uh, Danny Drejo, Rico Rodriguez. Oh, uh, they had that smudge sandwich between your kids' movies. Babysitter Beware. Any movie where Danny Trejo maybe plays a babysitter, maybe plays, I don't know, but it is from Society Entertainment, so... Oh, man. <laughs> Any movie about a big macho guy who has to take care of kids is a good, it's a good classic. Yes, exactly, it's because time. it's just yeah. a goofy guy, or a big burly guy taking care of kids, and that's always funny. Uh, this one, just the cover, I had to get it, and it's got Robert Carradine and Jake Thomas and Joey Lawrence's little brother, um, Monster Night. It's gonna be terrifying. I just know it. Uh, okay, let me get through these. Oh, Watcher in the Woods with Betty Davis, which you said was really good. Some really good, really spooky. Uh, how did Disney make this kind of movie? But it looks quality, and it looks like something that would terrify a child for the rest of their life. And so I'm, I'm all for it. Yeah. Alex was such a good salesman that I got a copy too. <laughs> yes. So we both, all of us got a copy of Watcher in the Woods, except for Alex, who was the only one that was the only it. one who has seen it, but believe me, it's good. <laughs> and then finally, uh, Taryn Manning and Eric Roberts in Groupie, which looks, uh, good. it looks real good. Real quality. I like that okay. that one family video had two copies of Watcher in the Woods. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why, but that family video was really nice. The it was there was still some there's still some left if you want to go out and and go do your own hunting. Yeah, we left you the Avengers movies. Yeah, all of the Avengers movies are there. Uh, I Except think for Toxic Avengers. Yeah, and um, that wasn't there. Which they are remaking that apparently with Peter Dinklage. I heard that. Yeah. I don't know how they're gonna. That do That won't be a family video. <laughs> <laughs> that will be streaming on a streaming service near you. Um. <laughs> so I guess I'll start with the movies I got at the family video we just went to. Yes, and that is family video Burton. Mm -hmm. uh, Vertigo, which I just really only got because I'm taking a class where we have to watch Hitchcock movies, so... It's an uh, amazing movie. Might as well get the movie for the same cost of what it will cost to rent digitally. Thank you, streaming services. Right. Um, skateboard Kids 1 and 2. Ooh. 
They have those, and these are sun bleached. These are all part of the sun bleached New Horizons New Concord uh, family video family movie collection. Yeah, and uh, I'm pretty happy to have them. Not everybody gets the sun bleached editions, but uh, if you do, you're gonna want to hang on to those. Those are collector's editions. Those all those all shoot up in value. I, I'm actually feeling a little sad. I. Uh... There were two copies of one of the movies I got, and I picked the one that was less sun bleached. But now I'm wondering if I should have gotten the bleached one. For, See, uh, you weren't project. you weren't thinking. I'm gonna have to leave it out on the back porch. Next summer. <laughs> See, Get that this next one is also a new Concord Family Entertainment <clears throat> release, but it's not quite as sun bleached, no, so I'm a little sad. It's okay. But uh, look at this cover. It's for this movie called Vulcan. Never heard of it, but I've seen the cover numerous times, and I'm like, what is this? That's from the Star Wars. Yes, it's got the Star Wars in it's it. Doctor Who. It's got Robert... Do Who. Doctor Who from Star Wars. Yes. Uh, Robert Vaughn from Star Wars is in it, too. Uh, and Vernon Wells, who was in uh, Star Trek. Oh, I love Vernon Wells. Yeah. Oh. You did not... He's not alive anymore, is he? No, he's alive. No. Oh, well, good riddance. Okay. Vern <laughs> Troyer. Vern Troyer. No, Vern is dead. Vern is dead. Vern is definitely dead. You... Troyer? Vern Troyer. Yeah. And the guy that um, Ernest was talking to all the time. Well, I just Speaking of Vern. Ernest... Oh, yes! I got Ernest Goes to Africa, the one everybody loves! So, this movie... Don't watch this movie. I don't know why Alex got it, but I recommend... It's got uh, not only Ernest Goes to Africa, but ten Ernest commercials back-to-back. -back oh, okay. In high demand, but low educational value. Okay, I rescind my previous statement because it has ten Ernest commercials on it, but... Back-to-back. -back. Yeah, this is one of the most... Uh, the shittiest Ernest film, and I love Ernest movies, but this movie has, like, him going to Africa and... He gets involved in an African tribe, and they all have bones in their noses, and it's not, that's not a good thing. Can I take a little, can I take a little peek at that case? Yeah, sure can. And this last one I got, this yeah, family video, <laughs> yes, very much, uh, this family video is unique in that it had a regional favorite section, which yes, is all Spanish movies. Actually, let's go to that footage right now. Okay, we're back. And uh, I found this movie in there, which is called Memory of the Dead. It's an Argentinian horror movie, and uh, it says it's got some Dario Argento-esque imagery on the back. And look at this guy on the back. This, this lady with a sideways, tooth, toothy mouth Ooh. face and gaping holes. It's like a vagina mouth. Yeah. With a, uh, an it says eye-popping eye visuals, and that sure does look like an eye-popper, so, uh... And it's from Sploitation Art films. Sploitation Art film. Sploitation. It's the, the art is the other side of, the, of this cube that you're looking at. Anyway, um, those were the two I got at that family video, and the... I also went to the family video on Fuller, and also the family video in Muskegon. Oh, nice. And I got one movie each those places. So in Muskegon, I got Bomb City, which is the tragic true story of how a punk rocker basically was murdered by a jock, and uh, the town let him get away with it because it was a southern Texas community. Um, I saw it in theaters, and I was like, dang, that was a pretty pretty harsh movie, and uh, I wanted to see it again, so I'm happy to find it. And yeah, I've heard about that. It sounds really it's, good. It's, Pretty good, pretty tragic, and this one, uh, a bit more of a feel-good movie, which, but I haven't seen it. Oh! Uh, My Science Project. I'm really excited. I, I haven't, it's one of those movies I've been meaning to watch. Uh, it's one of those movies you usually find, like, in the on-demand free section. It's a mid-80s movie. It's got the theme song by The Tubes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got Fisher's, Dennis Hopper. Dennis Hopper's in it. There's uh, Fisher Stevens, I think. Who's uh, the lead guy again? Is it Dean, Dean or John? Yes, John Dean. Stockwell. Is it? John Stockwell. Oh, yeah, Dean Stockwell's the... He's... What's his name from uh, Quantum Leap? Uh, Ziggy. He always, he always said the Ziggy. Right. Um, 
he was in a few canon movies too. That's what I know him from. Yeah. Um, and it's got a T-Rex in it. That was like, it was like a late night movie that I watched whenever it came on because it's just great 80s fun and everything. Finally, let's get to James. What do you got? <clears throat> what do you got for us? Got No Way to Live, which I got, well, for two reasons. One, because of this awesome tagline. A southern gothic noir with more twists than a pretzel. <laughs> That's good, that's good. And then uh, Alex told me that the, uh, it was put out by the Modern Scene? Modern Scene. Who, uh, I guess put out some other stuff. Nice. They uh, put out, a. Uh, uh, they, they shot a lot of movies in Michigan, but mainly the, uh, Jack Ketcher movies, Offspring, Ooh. and I think they, uh, they might have done The Woman as well. I love The Woman. <laughs> the Woman just came out with a sequel, which I have not seen. Really? The Women. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's directed by the the woman, like the first Pollyanna one. Pollyanna McIntyre. Yeah, the first one was directed by Lucky McGee, and then uh, the second one, she was just like, "I'm going to make this sequel to this movie." Good for her. Yeah, exactly. Then I got a Castle in the Ground because uh, it's Blu-ray. And isn't that and, the uh, kid from uh, Hereditary? Yeah. yeah, it's got the dude from Hereditary. I'm um, guessing he's Alex Wolf. And um, Imogen Poots. Who, and Imogen Poots, who uh, was wonderful in uh, The Green Room. Yes, so, so figured, yes. Uh, you know, whatever. That's he awesome. knows how to handle a box cutter. Yeah. Uh, I got Ooh. The Other Side of the Door, which, um... Is this the one that you told me? Was this Spanish or... Did I just grab this one? I just grabbed this one. I think one. you just grabbed this one. <laughs> I just grabbed this one. It looks uh, kind of scary. Whatever. Oh, 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 because it's a rental exclusive. So, See, he wouldn't you know. be able to find that yeah. Yeah. after Family Video Club. That, that was why I got it. Because you were like, it's a rental exclusive. Never mind. <laughs> uh, and then I got When a Stranger Calls. Oh, that's a good one. The original, because, um, well, of course, I'm sure it's a classic, but uh, Carol Kane has been popping up in my viewings recently. I love her a lot. She's yeah. uh, really great in Hunters, the Al Pacino show on Amazon. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, she was in Pandemonium. Pandemonium. Yeah, which I just watched. And we just did a review of. Check it out. Oh, yes. Just... Oh. Pandemonium. How could I forget a movie we just reviewed <laughs> two months ago? Well, it's a little forgettable. But she shoots lasers out of her eyes. So yeah. Yes. Yes. And it's incredible. Yeah. It is a good movie. It's, it's a great movie. It's very it's got its moments. It's got a lot of moments. And Pee Wee Herman. Couldn't tell you what it's about, though. <laughs> but, uh, Slasher stuff. Um, this, A Dark Path. I love that it I'm, has a I like a maid, a maid tag on there. Yeah, I've never taken that off. <laughs> Even though there's a spooky monster behind it. <laughs> Big old teeth. I, you know, I like, I like watching horror movies. Mm -hmm. So, grab that. That's a good one. Uh, the 16th episode. Which, um, the back, I was sold. I didn't even read the entire description on the back. I just read three YouTubers, each with their own inner demons, and said, I'm getting it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so, us. You know, we've got inner demons. <laughs> uh, the Silent House. Um, I saw IFC Midnight and decided to get it, because... Well, it, it was remade in, like, 2015. Oh, this is the one they got remade. Yeah, yeah. okay. So it, yeah. it was remade with Elizabeth Olsen. And the thing about it is I remember it's all one continuous shot. Sweet. So th I'm pretty sure that's what they do for this one, too. Yeah, it's... It's a lot of trickery, too. This was also hiding in the foreign section. Yeah. Well, I, the Spanish section, yes. I guess. Because it's um, the Spanish movies. <clears throat> this is the one. There was another copy that oh. sun-bleached. But that one got... The unbleached. <laughs> that might have been a mistake. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And uh, then speaking of Jack Ketchum stuff, I got Jack Ketchum's The Lost, which is unrelenting, vicious, and abrasive. You know, sometimes you're in the mood for that. That looks rough. Uh, probably is Jack Ketchum's pretty mean. Have you seen Red? No. That one's really, that's one of my favorite Jack Ketchum books, as well as Jack Ketchum movies. Is that about all the retirees shooting guns? No, it's just about an old guy who some rednecks kill his dog, and he just decides to go on a murder spree. Because, so it's basically John Wick, but with an old guy. So, Sweet. <laughs> I'm not 100% positive, but, so Jack Ketchum is a pseudonym. He died, I think, last year, but, um... I met him. 
Yes. He was at Wasteland. Wow. So I wish I could have asked him before he died because um, there's a very famous Jack Ketchum who he was just like some criminal. But when he was hung, it, it was a very famous hanging because when he was hung, it wasn't done correctly. So when the rope snapped, his head popped off like a, uh, you know, one of those flowers. And I'm not joking about this. You can look it up. And his name was like something Jack Ketchup, Ketchum. And uh, yeah, so all the people watching, like watching him get hung, the, the rope must have just like whip snapped and his neck just went and his head boom. Anyway, so that's pretty cool. That's all that. <laughs> uh, Jack Ketchum, of course, wrote The Girl Next Door, which is the really cool sort of fictionalized version of the uh, Sylvia Likens murder. Which uh, is like my favorite true crime story, so I've got there's a little place in my heart for me. Alex gifted me big ol' big ol' theater standee for that movie too. Uh, familiarize yourself with that tale, it's spooky. And then the last one, Deep Murder. Which um I'm a sucker for sleazy stuff and I saw in the back that uh, it's a genre bending horror comedy in the world of softcore porn, so I grabbed it. And also it Show the back. It, it just says "stick it in." It says "yes, stick it in," which is a great tagline. And uh, is that Dane Cook? No, that's the other dude. That's um Jerry O'Connell. Oh, yes. Who I like him. I like him he too. He pops up from time to time. I'm pretty sure he gets his penis ripped off by piranhas Ooh. in uh in Piranha Three D. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, which is but he was that's he, a legacy. Yeah, well, he was in Stand By Me. He was, in, he was the fat kid in Stand By Me. I haven't really? seen Stand By Me. Oh god, it's one of the greatest movies yeah. ever made. I um, only watched Terrible. He was in Sliders, which was this terrible 90s show where they just jumped... Oh! Yeah, they just jumped into wormholes and then they ended up in somewhere else. <laughs> but, I also went to another family video and grabbed a bunch of stuff. Uh... The only big highlight I can remember from that was Flying Monkeys. Ooh. With, uh... Yeah, I remember The uh, star of the host... Not the host, the guest was in that. I forget what her name is, but... Um... That had Flying Monkeys in it. Wow. It delivered. <laughs> so... <laughs> so that, I saw the cover for that, and I was like... So these are basically... They're just making a movie about the Flying Monkeys from Wizard of Oz. Yeah. You oh. also got the Barge People, which you traded me... Yeah. Oh, they do. Barge so we cool. we left the barge people at that family video. So if you want to get the barge people, go to the Burton family. We video. don't have a we don't have a copy to show you. I left my copy in the car, but uh, it's a really good cover. It's and got a cool cover. Haven't seen the movie, but that cover. Oh man, right. it, it delivers on the um, the fact that the guy the, the guy wears the, the mask. In okay, the movie. yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah. So it's just, not bad, it's not bad. <laughs> My biggest complaint is that there's no, like, gore prosthetics. There's a ton of blood spray. Okay, so let's uh, let's now try to remember our favorite, or just anything you liked about video stores or family video. What What's something that you Can I eat my Wendy's? Yeah, you, you eat your... I need to take it easy. I gotta say, um, family video... They weren't always the greatest video stores, but they were definitely a lot better than Blockbuster because they had they had character when it came to family videos. Because you know, Blockbusters they, they hit most of their stride in the '90s, and uh, they they kind of got this formula where they buy only the major releases, and that they get a few quirky things whenever a, the format would change, like from VHS to DVD. But you know. But they mainly they... the mainstream stuff. Family Video bothered to uh, have some weird movies and to have an adult section and bathroom, uh, all this other stuff that Blockbuster wasn't doing. So, like, if you're looking for weird movies, fa Family Video was the place to go. I remember the Grant Haven Family Video had just about every. Roger Corman title out of the new Concord catalog, like stuff like the Deathstalker movies, the Slumber Party Massacre movies, uh, The Nest, uh, The Unborn, uh, all these great horror movies, the stuff like Big Bad Mama, stuff like uh, Death Race 2000, Death Sport, Piranha, 
uh, all of those were at the Grand Haven Family Video, and I wish I could have gone there before they downsized, because those would have all been great to get. But most of the Family Videos had some new Concord stuff on their shelves. Like yeah, I, I remember that the, this this Vulcan movie, which I've never heard of, <laughs> which has probably been in that Family Video for the past like yeah, it's, years. it's probably been <laughs> this DVD is probably from like 2000 and. It, they bought it when they started buying DVDs in 2000, and it's been sitting there ever since. But that's a really good point, because I do remember that too, where you'd go to Blockbuster, and they they, they never even had a trauma movie there. Mm -hmm. And then you'd go to Family Video, and yes, it was kind of like, they had all the big stuff too, but... And they're, the way you looked for movies was very strange there, because they have favorites, and then they have like A through Z and everything. But and if sequels you, and prequels? Yes, and yes. sequels and prequels. <laughs> and apparently a regional section? Yes. For some, at some stores? But if you looked, you always found something. Like, I remember finding uh, Demons 2 at a family video in Holland and just being like, oh my god, what? How? You found a sealed copy of Food of the Gods at a family <laughs> yeah, video. That was, that's true, yes. Um, but yeah, they had, they had clearly had weirdo bad movies that a lot of blockbusters just didn't have. My favorite family video memory is that when they were selling off all their VHS. And because this was like a mass exodus of all the, the VHS tapes in general and I would go to every family video and try to find um, just stuff that I really liked. But there's a movie somewhere here. Uh, it's the, in the ends, right? Yeah, it's right. gotta be in the It's gotta be in the ends. Oh, where is it? <clears throat> oh, right here. So The Magic Christian. This is one of my favorite movies of all time. This was at Family Video, and so there were there were some VHSs that were on sale, some weren't. This was one that wasn't, so I took a sticker off a VHS that was on sale, and I put it on this one, and I had not seen it yet, but I was a huge Peter Sellers fan. I was like, I I so hope this works. <laughs> and then I brought it up to the register, and they're like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> and this is still one of my favorite movies of all time. It's just so good, so insane. It ends with a bunch of rich people jumping in a vat of human feces. Also, uh, just this is like a thing I've noticed with every family video. Everyone I've been to has the first release of Sleepaway Camp, the really crappy one that's from a VHS transfer, and it's full screen. And it's it's got like a Photoshop cover. Yeah. Every family video I've been to has had that movie. James, do you have any? I do. Do you have I do. Movie? I remember when Family Video was actually the bad guys. Um, the family Video over on Fuller used to be an Ion Video. Oh yeah. Which is where I would go and get all my stuff when I was in like uh, middle school, middle school years. And um, I remember going there with my stepbrother before we were old enough to watch rated R movies. My stepbrother was a little tall, so they didn't check his ID, and we got the Blair Witch Project, Deep Blue Sea, and Jason X, uh, all fabulous viewing experiences, and I also remember renting the GameCube version of Resident Evil 1, my first playthrough of that classic game, uh, from that Ion video, nice. and um, <clears throat> then when they turned into family video, I still went there, and I remember... It's just a blind buy, or maybe I recognize Trent Hagen's name on it, but I picked up Chop, which is an awesome little indie movie that Trent Hagen wrote. You may have directed it also. Yeah, I remember you um, telling me. They had that bad boy there. That was an awesome find. And, um, yeah, I, I mean, I remember buying um, posters from there when they were done with them. I had a, I know what you did last summer poster that I got from them that I had on my wall for a couple of years, and I only watched the movie like last year. It's a guy with a knife on a poster. It was a cool poster though. You know, it like Who it. said that? I think it might have been somebody said to me yesterday, did they just take the cast from I know you did oh, last yeah, summer? Was well, that you? Yeah. You said the Freddie Prince Jr. and uh, uh what's her name? Uh Sarah Michelle. Sarah Yeah. Is yeah. that the right one? Yeah, they were both in I Know What You Did Last Summer and, and Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. They played Fred and Daphne. And they were also that. So when I was watching, I don't know what you did last night. I was like, what? <laughs> I might have appreciated Scooby Doo a little bit more. And that's weird because then they Not got. That I didn't appreciate Scooby Doo. I like that. It's well, then they got Matthew Lillard from yeah. uh, The Scream. 
And then, yeah, so they just basically combined Scream and I Know What You Did Last Summer and then made a Scooby Doo. Scooby-Doo, so that's super dope. Yep. So those those are uh, my big memories, but it, it was important to me. I, I had a little, little bit of a cry in the car after I went to the one on Fuller. Just a little one, because, you know. Well, it, so it was a. I, I haven't gone to a video store in ages, so I'm part of the problem. Either you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna admit but, I don't think I've been to a family video since. Uh, they were important. I don't know. You know yeah, definitely it was, before COVID. It's been a really long time, honestly. Just hearing that the family video was closing in general, I was like, oh, now I gotta go. I gotta go check it out, and I was like, oh man, I haven't been in such a long time. Oh, I got one more fun, fun one. Okay. I don't know if uh, your viewers know Kyle, but uh... Oh, I think they know Kyle. Um, when Kyle and myself and several all living in Muskegon, I think it was after we'd already like graduated um, from our colleges and we're like both moved back with our parents for like a hot second, we would like regularly go to family videos and get like giant things of popcorn from the Speedway, pick up some random stuff from Family Video, and then go watch it in our friend Kevin's basement. So we were doing it more recently than I recall. Yes. And we got, like, Island of the Ants, a um, bunch of random Nicolas Cage stuff. Like, what was that Nicolas Cage one? I think there were Bangkok was in it, but... Oh yeah, Bangkok yeah. Rules? Or Bang Bangkok uh, Dangerous? Dangerous. Yeah. Dangerous. That was pretty cool. That was a pretty cool Nicolas Cage movie. <laughs> and I've seen just about every Nicolas Cage movie, so check that one out if you want to watch um, Nicolas Rage. Yeah, he rages. He rages pretty hard, man. There's something so special about going somewhere and then being provided with just like all of these things that you could bring home with you. It, it's like going to an art show, but you could take that piece of art and stare at it for two hours when when you get home. And Realistically. Yes, something like that. But there's something special that's going to be lost when Family Video completely closes where we're just not going to have that anymore and streaming is great, you can get whatever movie you want, wherever you want, and... but there's something amazing about choosing films I don't know how to explain it. It's just something like, good about it. I, the last memorable movie I remember running from Family Video was the trauma movie Blood Junkie, mm. which I got because I knew it was a trauma movie and because the cover looked cool and it was a throwback to 80s slasher movies. I probably wouldn't have found Blood Junkie if it was just sitting on Netflix. You know what's crazy? Mm. That was one of the free on-demand movies that I got. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, no! <laughs> We're supposed to preserve <laughs> shitty, outdated technology. That's why I'm keeping this stuff. <laughs> Obviously, we're we're losing something. We're gaining streaming. All these DVDs. Yeah, we got all this this all crap. These DVDs for cheap. Uh, not crap. Okay, most of it's crap. But yeah. we got this crap, and we got this crap and you know what quick shout out to scarecrow video i think they're based out in california but you can rent their movies uh they'll send it to you in the mail yeah and you can see their shit. yeah see, that was something so that this, that's all we're gonna have left is these really really niche and kind of hipsterized video stores that but are that... only in big city meccas and i'm glad that scarecrow is doing stuff like that but you know uh Still be cool to have one in your neighborhood. Like, if, but, you, if you want to rent certain movies, I bet you have to throw down like a $90 deposit. But here is an optimistic yeah. worldview. When video stores started, that's all there were, were those niche little stores that had maybe two racks, and that's all there were. So maybe that's the resurgence, that's where it starts again, is just the little mom and pop stores that people are like, you know what, I don't want whatever the fuck is on Netflix. I want to try something that I'm not going to find anywhere else. And maybe it's going to start all over. Amazon Prime has some pretty... It's <laughs> Amazon Prime is doing really well, and they've been doing really well for a long time. Got God, good obscure dang stuff it's God damn you, Jeff Bezos. Basically, we all had a great time uh, getting crap from Family Video. And talking about Family Video. Talking about the death of Family Video. If you haven't gone, you still got like a month? to go in there and get that movie 
that you've loved or seen on the video shelf for your whole life, like a Hocus Pocus or um, Skateboard Kid 1 or 2. Skateboard Kid 1 and 2 or um, Special Edition DVD of the, uh, the Signed Adventure. Yes. Grab that. Or just get an Avenger. You can't have that, I got that. Yeah, you can't have it because James got it. Get an Avenger, get a. Um, Get a Danny Trejo. Get a porn. Get a porn. That's another thing. Oh, that's that's one last thing that I wanted to say. The family video commercials were the greatest because they would be like, come on down to family video. All kinds of great stuff. And at the very end of every family video commercial, they would say, and come check out our back room. <laughs> and you could hear the, the, the voice announcer guy. You could hear the wink in his voice. Come on and check out our back room. Anyway. So, <laughs> so I love family video, and I'm also sad that they're leaving. That's no, just it's how kind it is. Of funny when they tried to cash in, cash in on the CBD. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On it. Yes. So uh, probably everybody knows, but before they died, family video tried to become like a CBD um, and phone retailer. <laughs> phone retailer, <laughs> and they so they still have CBD stuff, so you can go and grab. Um, a copy of uh, Santa with Muscles, and then get a 14.8% CBD spray. Calm down and watch the Vectors, because that's what we like to do. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining us for B-Movie Euphoria's The Death of Family Video, and go out there and get yourself a movie, okay? Watch a DVD.